Right, this is the short video. This is the quick video of how to fix that pesky oil leak which comes out of the rectifier multi-plug. I have a longer video which is 20 minutes long. Go and check that out if you want. But that shows you how I actually lengthen the wires so I can reroute the wires and stuff like that. It's a lot more work, but this video is a quick one when I'm just gonna show you the quick fix. I'm not sure how well it works, but you can give it a go and decide that for yourself. Or you can look at my longer video and get really involved. Right, under the bike here, that there is the rectifier. And that multi-plug there is where the oil leak comes from. The oil actually travels down the wires through the middle of the wires and leaks out into that plug and onto the floor. So what's happening is, inside here are your alternator windings. And that's the wire there for them, which runs down here and goes to the rectifier under the bike. And the oil forces its way through the actual wires along the copper and out into the multi-plug and it drips out. I believe that when you actually take your bike to Triumph for them to repair this oil leak, this is the bit they replace, which is pretty expensive and there's a lot of labor to do it. So that's why I'm gonna show you how to do it without replacing it. And also I believe that most people seal these wires up at this end. I think they pull these plugs out and then put sealer on the end of these wires. So it stops the oil from coming out the wires. But I'm gonna try and get to this end so it doesn't go up the wires. But looking at that, I'm not going to be able to get into these wires to seal them there. So we're going to make another plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to seal the wires this end because I don't think I can get into all this to seal them, seal them that end. So you can actually do this with everything still on the bike. You've just got to unplug this from the rectifier and do it on the bikes. So under the bike, this here is the rectifier and we need to repair the wiring in this plug. So basically there's two bolts on a rectifier there. And that comes off. You need to unclip the wiring from these little clips here. And then this will lay down. Oil leaks out of these wires, which is a problem people have. Because the other end of this wire is on the rectifier, is goes to the alternator windings, which is inside the engine case. So it's got oil in it. And the oil travels down through the wires. All right, handy little tip to get plugs off like this. They can be a real prick. So you squeeze that in and pull and nothing happens. The trick is push, push the plug down in that direction first before you hit the little release tab. And then, then it should come up a bit easier. I'll give you a little helping hand with the screwdriver here. There, and that comes off lovely. Yeah, look, that's got oil in there. See that dripping out? So what we need to do is we need to get this little yellow bit out. I just lever that up there like that. Don't think you need to pull it right out, but we're going to pull that right out. And then, I don't know how well you can see in there, but we need to lift that little, there's a little tagger there. Lift that little tag up and push down on the terminal and that will push it out. That will come out like that, look. And what we need to do is we need to get into that in there and seal that up because the oil comes out of the, the wiring there and leaks out here. These wires, I don't think it matters what way, what order they're in in this plug, but it's a good idea just to mark them, just to be on the safe side. Try to get this in so you can see what I'm doing with the camera. Flip that little tag up and then push the terminal down. And they pull out like that. So now we're going to use this stuff, some Permatex Ultra Black, and we're going to seal these up. So to seal this end, once you've washed these down with degreaser and let them dry, they've got to be really clean, then we can just fill all these wires up with the sealer. 
get it right in where them wires come out because we don't want any any of this to get past here and leak out. Seal it all the way around so there's no escape for oil. And that's that's the easy quick fix to do it like that. You can do that while it's still on the bike. But the oil will still be in the wire there. So there, that's the ends of the wire sealed. Right, that's the quick fix for the oil leak. I can't tell you if it works or not because I got a lot more involved in fixing mine. And you can see all that in the other video. There'll be a link at the end of this video or in the description. So go and check that out. So let me know if you've had this issue, if you've got a fix for it or if this has worked for you. Feel free to comment, well comment on anything really, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And have a great day.